why are measurements essential to, to global trade? So I'll, I'll, I'll wind that all the way back to the beginning of history. So 15,000 years ago, when humans started coming together to form communities, one of the first things they wanted to do is to trade. But if I'm gonna trade this for that, we wanna make sure that we're getting a fair amount between each other. So very quickly, um, a measurement system was developed so that we could exchange a certain amount of gold for a certain amount of wheat. And those measurement systems are actually documented in the Quran, in the Torah, in the Bible. It's in the Magna Carta. It's in the U.S. Constitution. And global trade today very much depends on trusting the measurements from each country that's trading back and forth. And as a matter of fact, as a new country develops, one of the first things that happens is that the World Bank will make a loan to that country to be able to build a National Metrology Institute so they can be welcomed into the global community and that they understand it, that if I have 3.5 tons of grain, metric tons of grain, that it's truly 3.5 metric tons and can be accepted for commerce around the world. And that's why NIST is part of the Department of Commerce, works underneath the Department of Commerce today, because uh, again, the Constitution enables NIST to be the keeper of measurements for the United States, primarily for the purposes of trade. But of course, technology is also dependent on that now too.